The evolving digital landscape offers a wide range of opportunities to banks and financial businesses. Many see revenue growth being driven by stronger international connectivity and expanding product proposals. Well, to look at this uh, and what the future may hold, we're joined by Vivek uh, Ramachandran, Head of Global Trade Solutions at HSBC. Welcome, Vivek. Um, thank you for joining us here on Cybers TV. Uh, now, what does the Cybers 2024 theme of connecting the future of finance mean to HSBC? And, and how will the bank be turning that message through its attendance this year? The world of commerce has probably moved faster than the world of finance. So the future of finance is catching up with the world of commerce. And mm. for me, that means digital. It means embedded in the client journeys. And it means sustainable. So the world of finance is going to change a lot. I think to misquote Hemingway, the world has got to change slowly and then suddenly. And we've seen that quite a bit. Um, curious what the developments uh, at HSBC, are you excited to sh really showcase to the delegates here at Cybos 2024? Cybos is a fantastic platform to share ideas and to share what we are doing differently. So specifically at this Cybos, we're sharing two developments. The first is sustainable supply chain finance. So we're working with large corporates all over the world to help them incentivize suppliers to change behavior. And we're showcasing some of the new programs we've put in place. And secondly, we're showcasing our partnership with Show, which is embedding finance on marketplaces and e-commerce platforms, which is digital onboarding, digital decisioning, API connectivity, and instant lending to suppliers on e-commerce platforms. Now, with HSBC being a world leader in trade finance with over 100 years of experience, what are the main areas of disruption that you're seeing taking place in this sector and what you see taking place over the next few years? Supply chains are being disrupted in a way we haven't seen in decades because of geopolitics, mm -hmm. resilience concerns and sustainability concerns. Some supply chains are getting shorter, some are getting longer, but companies need to fundamentally start rethinking who they're doing business with and where they're doing business. Yeah. So that's the first big theme that's changing. The second is trade in services is fundamentally outpacing trade in goods. Trade is no longer just containers with physical commodities. It's actually trade in services, which is really fundamentally changing. That means new counterparties, new risks, but also new contracts that need to be monetized. Thirdly, we're seeing an explosion in, in digital e-commerce. So B2B trade, almost 50%, 47% of digital of B2B trade is digital today. And that means new platforms, trading with new counterparties, sometimes anonymous counterparties, and data coming from different formats. And then finally, sustainability is yeah. embedded in everything companies do. You either do this on your terms or you're playing catch up. Yeah. And, and so then how are the expectations of trade finance clients evolving? And, and what are the solutions that HSBC is coming up with to address them all? I mean, firstly, and most excitingly, Trade finance is no longer just the focus of the corporate treasurer. Mm. The CFO and the CEO care about trade finance because in many cases, it helps them accelerate sales. It helps them drive shareholder value and release a huge amount of capital that can be redeployed for multiple other purposes. Mm. So if I take the example of companies trying to embed sustainability practices in their supply chain, trade finance is probably one of the most effective instruments to incentivize suppliers to share inf information and also adopt new practices. Yeah. Let's talk about why we're here. How important is the collaboration between banks, between fintechs, other stakeholders at events uh, like Cybos for enhancing trade finance solutions? So trade is today still paper-based. And if we are going to change that, it requires everybody in the ecosystem to step up. It requires banks, it requires shippers, it requires technology partners. So collaboration is the only way we're going to digitize trade. So for me, an event like Cybos is the perfect occasion to bring people together, share ideas, and develop a joint sense of commitment to what we're going to tackle. Yeah, and we, of course, the focus is on the future of finance. But in your view, do you think that the pace of change of trade digitalization is quick enough? No and yes. No, because we're in 2024, and we still have over 28 billion pieces of paper exchanged every year wow. to facilitate trade. So clearly, that's not acceptable. But yes, because we are seeing tangible steps being taken. You have to digitize trade, you need a common architecture and a legal framework to adopt that. So with the UK passing the Electronic Trade Documentation Act, France adopting the model of electronic transfer of records, we are developing a legal framework. So as I look out for the next five years, mm -hmm. I'm actually filled with a fair amount of optimism that the world will change and we will digitize it. 
But clearly, it's unacceptable that we're sitting in 2024 and still dealing with paper. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, where we are and when we are right now. We are in Beijing 2024. How are you enjoying your experience so far here in Beijing, Vivek? And uh, what are you kind of looking forward to over the coming days? I mean, China is an exciting economy. There's a huge amount of innovation in digital platforms. So it's great to have Cyboss in Beijing. Cyboss also personally is probably my favorite event in the calendar filled with events because it is speed dating for banks. <laughs> right? So you're meeting old friends, you're building new connections, you're dealing with competitors who are also customers. Yep. It's a really unique experience to share ideas in such a setting. It is powerful networking, powerful collaborations. And thank you so much for your powerful ideas as well. Vivek Ramachandran, Head of Global Trade Solutions at HSBC. Thank you so much, Vivek, for joining us.